Okay, thanks for checking in. Hey, I'm showing you something that I'm very amazed with. I didn't have too much uh, high expectations upon ordering this thing, but I got a chance to play with it here yesterday, and I'm like, man, I'm going to definitely make a video on this. So what is this? It might be the smallest, lightest weight, stubby screwdriver set combination possibly out there right all right some of you are like hey that looks like more not a stubby looks like one of those finger thumb uh palm ratcheting uh screwdriver head systems well similar okay um i don't quite know for sure uh i don't own some of those things but they are made out of like aluminum steel even some of the expensive ones are made out of tiny titanium. This one's made out of some hard polymer plastic, okay? But it's light, it's compact, it's sweet. And I always like to try tools from, you know, other countries. Um, you know, heck, we're always doing the, the Weeha and the Wura, Vura, I'm sorry. And, you know, I like my... Uh, Domestic brands also, don't get me wrong. But some of these, especially from Japan, are kind of unique tools, all right? So I can't really, you know, explain everything here. I can't uh, tell you what it all it says. Wide handle, this is uh, the number 62. So I'm guessing they make different models of this, all right? And from my research, I mean, Annex is a company that was started in 1949 and they make quality Japanese tools and especially I think for those guys that are into the JDM products or cars for that matter you know you're hyped up uh, Toyotas, Hondas, Nissans um, they use a lot of these tools because I think this company makes uh, specific tools to get into hard areas all right, and because I don't know if you've ever opened up a hood on a Japanese import, especially the early, or I should say, well, early, mid, late, mid 80s, uh, late 80s, 90s, uh, I've had a couple of them, Hondas, Nissans, and uh, taking off certain belts or even replacing tubing and so forth. There's always that screw and you can't get into it with you know, a normal stubby, right? You can, you, you have to remove a whole bunch of things just to get to that one screw. So I think that this was developed for that reason, but I think you could use this on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm gonna have a demonstration uh, soon, but uh, let's crack this bad boy open. So this thing is tiny and I'm telling you what, it's super lightweight. So let's go with this first. So there's the annex, uh, some Japanese, it's the wide handle, okay? It's hollow in here. Now this plastic or this resin reminds me of your Klein tools, okay? Very similar, transparent. And what's odd too, I didn't really notice it, but it's, you know, it's hollow in there, which uh, I wish they did something with this area, I'll tell you at the end of the video, but here it is. Okay, some of these other finger, thumb, palm, screwdriver heads out there. Some of them are ratcheting. This is not. But this has like kind of the perfect, you know, right in your hand where you need it. You know, in the grooves and so forth versus maybe the metal and uh, the jimping on the sides, right? So again... This thing is not that exotic, but I'm telling you what, it's kind of neat, right? Transparent blue. Now, here's the crazy thing. Check out this bit, right? It's a quarter inch, so, you know, the Seda, let's look at the uh, the Weeha here. So, this is the Weeha size. Even the bits are tiny, right? So... This thing, I'm telling you what, if you need to get in that tight space with these bits, all right, it's definitely easier than the, you know, I mean, there's the comparison. 
I mean, you know what I'm saying? So, and this is the smallest stubby that I own, I guess, right? And I have the ratcheting tools that are small, but there's times where you can't even move it this way. You have to just get it in there at an angle and just turn a little bit, right? This is where this comes in, okay? So this isn't gonna be like an everyday tool, but for your EDC, I'm gonna show you, look at, here's the bit set. So it gives you one flatty and then your three um, Phillips. This thing looks like a transformer from Japan. You can tell this is made from Japan, even their stickers for those guys that used to collect transformers out there, right? So and it actually gave you this and then this one, which is a number two, right? So let's just pull this out. Let's just take that Weeha. Fits in there perfectly nothing no play right here over here is the seda let's take this one chinese fits in there perfect you know so i'm always out there looking for something inexpensive something unique and look at how small this is so UEDC guys out there that want to carry a screwdriver and again my demonstration will blow your mind because i was like holy smokes this thing works great but look at this all right so I'll move some stuff aside. AAA battery. It's about the same width, I guess. Okay, let's just lay it down. Longer height, right? The only other thing I could find that was similar. Okay, look at, let's just pull one of these out. If I can get to it here. There we go. I mean, this thing is super tiny, right? Uh, maybe another thing, earbuds. Okay. So your earbuds are even longer than this little guy here, right? And that's all you need. A couple uh, Phillips and a stubby. So that thing is tiny. You know, here, there's a comparison on the the driver itself, right? I don't know. This has a carrying case, but as you can see, this thing is super tiny. And it fits any other quarter-inch bits. So stay tuned. I'm going to show you a demonstration with this little guy. And then you'll be like, man, this thing is pretty cool. Stay tuned. Okay, I got a normal 2x4 here, right? So let's uh, use a couple screws. And as you can see, the screws are very similar in size, like I mentioned, to the actual bit containment. And I like little bit containers. So you guys that are making your own packs out there, this might come in handy. Very easy storage, okay? So let's do this. Um, let's take this bit. The bit from Annex, slam it in the old Ryobi. And let's take this guy, and there's no hole here, so let's just put it in. And look at how small these bits are, you can tell. I mean, normally it's out here. It, this thing is tiny, so let's just, you know, multi-use. Give it a couple, all right? So let's pull the same bit out. Holy smokes, it might be kind of hard to do because it's in there, there we go, okay. Stick it in the old annex, right? That thing doesn't even move. Once you stick it in, and they're easy to pull out, which I like. There's some stubbies you stick something in there and just you got to get out the uh, Cobra pliers to pull them out, right? So let's get this guy out. All right, sit it right on. Oh, yeah. I mean, as you can see, the twisting motion, it's like perfect. Right? So, you know, obviously this is a wood screw going into wood and coming out of wood. Um, let's see if we can put this screw back in with this guy, all right? So no hole here. Let's just stick it down, put the old thumb over, give it some pressure, turn. I mean, yeah. And it's like the bits fit in the head of the screw great there's no movement in it okay so i don't know as you can see here let's do it this way to show you if you had to versus pushing down we're just going at it 
and sin. Let's take it out. All right, we'll go this way. I guess it doesn't matter. We'll go down here, I guess, to save time. So, yeah, as you can see, this thing can take out a screw or put one in, especially wood, I guess. Um, what do we got here? Oh, okay, we got a torch. Hey, let's use some domestic brand, the DeWalt, right? Let's slap that bad boy in. Okay, screw, find a place. All right, let's use the DeWalt inside the annex. I mean, that thing slaps right in there, right? Let's see if we can get Ah, oh, yeah. Now, ratcheting, I think, would be great, so I'm not poo-pooing on that idea. But I, you know, and again, I'm sorry, I don't have, you know, some of those metal smaller dial spinners, I guess some people call it, you know, the finger, thumb, palm head screwdriver but i think that this thing is made more like you know a stubby where you can get in on it right so hang on i'm almost there Jeez, I keep on popping off i know this is getting long so yeah no problem i mean look at this thing it's tiny it fits in any bits that you might have in the quarter inch. It's cool to have in your toolbox, man. You know, right? And then especially this. So if you can find a use for these two small, well, they're actually together as a kit. And one thing I wish with this hollow uh, area that, uh, you know, Annex actually made a place to set these, right? Look, it fits right in there. Well... You know, so if they have one, two, three, four, five, or whatever bits, you know, one stays in there and you got a couple there, that's all you need, that would be sweet. So, I don't know, if you think this is pretty cool, something that, hey, you know, it's not blowing up the world or anything, but something that you might think that you'd like in your toolbox and you think it's pretty unique, give it a thumbs up. But otherwise, thanks for watching and have yourself a great day.